Okay, so you're looking to add those beautiful R&B chord progressions to your music. But you're not looking for any old chords. Not those basic chords anybody can play. You're looking for those rich, colorful, urban chords that have been voiced beautifully and inspire you to create amazing music. Well, I'm here to tell you that I have something for you that I think you're going to love. But first, I want to speak about why having a go-to library of proven chord progressions is so important. Now, always remember, the only difference between an amateur musician or producer and a professional one is the professional has stored up knowledge of what works and they can use that knowledge anytime to produce and reproduce great sounding music. Okay, so the R&B Core Progressions MIDI library was created to give you that edge of a professional musician with proven chord progressions and chord voicings that simply work time and time again to not only inspire but to really free you up to be creative on top of proven musical movement okay so let's get into it I'm going to show you guys how to use the library and potentially make some beautiful great sounding R&B and soul music so the library is divided into three main folders. You have R&B, Soul, and the Extra folder for hip-hop R&B crossover music. Within each folder, you have subfolders labeled with the type of chord progressions contained in that folder. The MIDI files are named with the key signature followed by the suggested tempo, and within the brackets, you'll have notes that summarize what's going on in that file. Notice that the B section is included for many of these chord progressions in addition to many different variations for quick song construction. You also have at least two separate keys for most chord progressions. Okay, so I've taken one of the chord progressions from the R&B MIDI library and very quickly composed an R&B track. Mind you, this did not take me long at all. This is one of the advantages to having quality chord progressions at your disposal. Now, once you have that foundation of music, it's very easy to build on top of that. So I'm going to just play the track, and then I'm going to break it down, and I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, so again, very simple track, very easy to make. I use one of the more simple chord progressions for this example. A 3-4 movement, which is very effective in this case. All I did was import the MIDI file straight from the library. Now I'm using some vintage keyboards inside of Contact. And this was clearly the start and the inspiration for the track. Okay, so I added the drums next. Nothing complicated, very simple, very basic. So we have a nice strong rhythm section serving as the backbone for the track. Just a kick, a snare, a clap, some shakers, and here we add hi-hats to build it up. Again, very simple. Doesn't have to be too complicated. Okay, so next I added these bells, but first I'm going to show you how I added a super simple bass line just following the chord progression and the rhythm of the bass drum. As you can see, this is one of the most basic compositions, 
And I wanted to show you how easy it is to make something that sounds good when you have the right chord progressions. Notice the turnaround here. Okay, so I'll show you the melody I did with the bells, and this is just to add color and another focal point for the listener. Now, it's just something that spoke to me and came up in a moment. And we bring it in around the seventh bar to create a build for the track. Okay, notice the space between the notes simplistic I tried to keep it no quantization uh, just kind of played it out okay last but not least I wrapped it up by throwing in a guitar sample I bought got it from Big Fish Audio and this adds character and makes it sound a little more interesting again I'm just complimenting the chord progression time to make and you could literally do this all day and come out with 10 to 15 beats a day if you wanted to the thing to remember is that I was able to layer four simple elements on top of the chord progression which served as a musical bed for this beat so next I want to sample a few more of the chord progressions from the R&B MIDI library and show you how easy it is to tweak the chord progressions and create entirely new songs. Thank you. 